Where's Kia? What was going to happen is that I was going to shoot Kia. And Kia, she said yes. She said yes to a shoot. It was all organized. It's a Sunday and we're ready to go. We're gonna do a down at the beach. We're gonna do a lifestyle shoot, grab some sunnies, do this, whatever. And last minute, she decided to bail. Kia. Unfortunately, no Kia. I'm currently doing a Jay Shetty certification life coaching course. And I want to niche down in, in mindset and creative business coaching. Nine core principles for you guys to niche down on what you want to do in your creative career. Or in, in, in other words, reach your full potential. So in order to reach your full potential, there's nine core principles. I'm going to run through them. Awareness. Awareness is the biggest principle. It's, it's being mindful, it's being, it's having a certain awareness of presence, it's knowing what you're doing, it's focus, it's all these things that allow you to focus on exactly what you're doing at that certain time. There's no such thing as multitasking. You cannot multitask, it doesn't exist. You can't work on two things at once. You need to give 100% of your focus, time and effort into the one thing, okay? And that is mindfulness and meditation really helps mindfulness and awareness. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, okay. All right. The second one in the A is audit. Now, I gave a little thing of the wheel of life not long ago, and it rings so true. We need to look at the areas of our life we need to audit. There are a bunch of different areas, our finances, our business, our career, our friends, our family. Look at what is you are lacking in. Do the wheel of life and draw it out. And if, if you don't know what it is, send me a message and I'll help you. I'll share that link now to my last video of the wheel of life. And look at what areas you need to improve in and, and figure out, okay, this is an area that is lacking in my life. We need to focus more on that. Forget the ideas of one or two in your life, the areas you need to focus on and look at them, okay? It gives a really good indication on where you need to put your focus, time and energy, quality energy into those areas so you can improve and narrow down what you need to do to reach your full potential. Awareness, audit and accountability. Accountability is holding yourself accountable, whether you have a buddy, a friend, a family member and some sort of accountable buddy, you need someone in your life to hold yourself accountable for your decisions and keep pushing you because they're going to get there's going to be times that it's tough and we're going to struggle to keep moving forward but you need that accountability buddy to check in on you to really keep moving momentum because that's that's the creative industry there's always this is this is hard this not going to lie this is a hard it's a hard thing and if we don't force ourselves to, to keep moving forward. See, the people, that are being, the, the people that are successful are the ones that don't give up. And the ones that don't give up show grit, perseverance, and hold themselves accountable. The next thing on the Bs is big goals. They need to be specific, they need to be measurable, they need to be attainable, they need to be relevant, and they need to be time-framed. If you can do all those with your big goals, and, and map them out, you'll hit those targets easier. Walking this track from Dunsborough to Castle Rock. It's a beautiful little trail through the bush. Uh, as, as, as it runs parallel to the coast and it's just magic. Building habits. I'm, uh, a solid mentor of mine who is a psychologist for the Seattle Seahawks said, there are thoughts, there are thought patterns, and there are habits of thought. Now what needs to happen is that we have these thoughts and they can be positive or negative. We have to create these consistent positive thoughts. We are wired to be seduced by the negative. So we need to create positive habits. We live in a day and age where there's so many distractions, so many comparison games. And what we need to do is just build positive habits because we are wired to be ready to be attacked by a saber-toothed tiger. We have a lizard brain, we have a million-year-old brain. 
that is constantly, uh, it, it is on the negative side, right? So we need to build positive habits in our life. So we need, we have thoughts, we have thought patterns, and we have habits of thought. So create habits of thought that are positive. There are a certain form of an affirmation. People talk about affirmations, and I think this is very similar. You need to create words to yourself. The most important words are the words you say to yourself. So you need to create affirmations and thought patterns that are positive to say to yourself every single day so you can overcome these challenges and not have imposter syndrome. This is the only way forward. It's the only way you can challenge yourself and do it because otherwise we will go down this negative spiral and it is not good for you. It is not good for anyone else around you. So create positive affirmation, positive thought patterns in your life so you can keep making, keep creating shit, keep believing in yourself because at the end of the day, it is only you. There's no one here to help, it is you. There it is, Castle Rock. This is the back of it. I'm gonna climb up the top, I'm gonna drone it. Sky's looking, sky's looking okay. It's a bit windy, but we'll be okay. The DJI Mavic Air 2S will be fine. We need to have a balanced reflection. We need to be looking back at where we've come. We need to reflect on our past, reflect where we've come from, and, get, and take a look at that time frame and reflect that, okay, so this is, this, is, this is a good way to see how far you've come. It's a good way to realize, to reflect on how much you've, you've gained, how much skill you've acquired, how much knowledge you've acquired, it's really, it's really, really important to reflect on that in your life. And then let's, let's jump into the C's. Number C, first one, consistent action. These things don't come easy. The life you wish as a creative, as a photographer, as a filmmaker, as an artist, this isn't gonna happen overnight. This is going to take years. Mr. B. Steven, who's like one of the biggest YouTubers, I watched something on him and he said that you, you go about, he took years to become, to break the YouTube algorithm. He was yelling to himself for 24 hours straight, like in one video. This is going to take time. This is a matter of taking consistent action towards your goals. Think about it like this. Does it, every single decision you make, does that lead you towards your goal? If not, get rid of it. Continue to create, continue to push through boundaries, continue to fuck the naysayers, continue to just make art. It is the only way forward. Consistent action, continue to create, keep going, keep moving forward. On to the next one. Even Peter McKinnon says it. On to the next one. If it doesn't do as good as you think, on to the next one. Continue to create, continue to create, okay? Consistent action. Number two on the C's is challenging comfort. We have to challenge our comfort zone. We have to get uncomfortable. We have to run towards the fear. It is the only way we will grow, gain knowledge, gain skills, and keep moving forward. You have to challenge your comfort levels. There is a circle of comfort. You need to break out of that in order for you to grow, in order for you to gain skills. Just keep challenging your comfort. Do something uncomfortable for you every day. I, there's something I do is I take cold showers every single morning because I'm challenging my comfort. I'm, I'm challenging the, the comfort zone and if I condition myself to do something uncomfortable every day, that means it's gonna be a lot easier in the real world when I'm getting uncomfortable on a job, anything like that. I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to go because I challenge myself and I get uncomfortable every single day. I'm gonna climb the rock. I'm gonna tell you the third and last one of the C's. Shit. Critical low battery on the drone. It's about to land, and now I've got to catch it. Fuck. I'm gonna to have to. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. That wasn't ideal. That's not what, that's, that's what not to do. Anyway, managed to catch it. It's the only issue with those DJI Air 2S is, is that they just land when you've got about two minutes left. They just decide to land. Anyway, we're here. This is beautiful. This is absolutely amazing. The wind's dropped off, sun's setting. Now, number three in the seas is competence mastery. We go through all these steps all our life trying to figure out what we want to do, what's our path, what's our goal. And through these life experiences, we finally get to a point, hopefully, hopefully you guys that are watching this get to a point where you know what you want to do. You know you want to be a creative. You know you want to be a photographer, a filmmaker, some form of artist, some medium of artist, of being an artist. And the most important takeaway here, and the key is, is confidence mastery. Put all you can into mastering the craft, okay? So we can go through all these steps, but the most important thing is to gain skills. I say it all the time, gain skills, gain knowledge, uh, get mentors, get hold yourself accountable, get accountability buddies, and do anything in your path that you can do to competence mastery in that field. That is the final tip of the iceberg of the seas. You have to competence mastery and to get notice in your field, to get the work, to build relationships. And when you're finally there, when you put all your time and energy into competence mastery, you'll get noticed in your work. You'll start to get people reaching out to you and it will be such a good feeling after all those years of yourself going hard at your craft. You're finally starting to competence, have competence in your craft. And the key is to just competence, is competence mastery in the triangle, in the nine elements and principles of Jay Shetty's principles of life. I hope you've enjoyed that. Be a bit vulnerable and, and start making videos about what I'm learning in this life coaching course so I can help you guys get focus, get clarity and start learning about what you can do to reach your full potential and go hard in your business, go hard in your craft, build relationships and just get on the path of mastery so you can become full time in your filmmaking, videography, photography, whatever medium of art it is in your skills. Thanks so much for watching again. This is so cool. I love to just try and bring wisdom and bring whatever value, inspiration, service, entertainment I can to you guys. And hopefully it was an enjoyable one. Hopefully you got something out of it. Uh, just like, subscribe, share if you got something out of it. And I'm gonna fly my drone around a little bit. You've got the beautiful sun setting and we'll see you on the next one, people. Thank you very much. I gotta figure out how to get down now. The path.